Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we will study voltage shunt feedback amplifier or voltage shunt feedback circuit or voltage shunt feedback topology. So we learned in previous lectures that the first term indicates the sampling and sampling always takes place at the output side. So in this case, we have voltage sampling, which means that the output signal is going to be voltage. We also learned that the second term indicates the mixing and mixing always takes place at the input side. So we have shunt mixing over here and we also learned that the currents are added or subtracted in parallel in shunt. So that is why when we have a shunt over here it means that the input side is going to be our current. So on the output we have voltage on the input we have current because this indicates mixing and mixing always takes place at the input side. Also the shunt indicates that the feedback and input are in shunt. The shunt also means that the feedback circuit is in shunt with the input signal or with the input circuit. So now we have voltage shunt feedback. At the output we are going to have a voltage, at the input we are going to have a current and the input and the feedback are going to be connected in shunt are, in shunt are going to be connected in parallel. So this is my arrangement of voltage shunt feedback. At the output side we have voltage V0 and this voltage V0 is feeded back. So I have a voltage V0 over here as well. Now at the input side we are going to have a current. So we have a current source at the input side and let's suppose the current flowing into the amplifier is II. Now the output is voltage, the input is II. So this amplifier the gain of this amplifier is going to be equal to V0 by II because gain is equal to output by input which means that V0 will also be equal to here from here V0 is going to be equal to AII so this is why one of the equation for the output voltage again we are going to have a current as a feedback and this IF is going to be equal to, this IF is going to be equal to beta times the V0 where beta is the feedback factor which means that beta is going to be equal to IF by V0 or IF divided by V0 and also here we have, if you can have a look, we have II is equal to IS minus IF which implies that IS is equal to II plus IF. So these are my other two equations. So this is the whole circuit of the voltage shunt feedback configuration and this circuit is also called trans resistance amplifier. You can have a look we have voltage by current which is actually resistance so we have trans resistance amplifier. So the voltage feedback voltage shunt feedback amplifier is also called trans resistance amplifier circuit. Now the gain of this amplifier without feedback is A is equal to V0 by II. So this is the gain of this amplifier without feedback. Let me name it as equation 1. And the gain of this amplifier of this trans resistance amplifier or voltage shunt feedback amplifier with feedback is going to be equal to V0 by IS. So let me name it as equation B. Now when we have feedback connected, this IS is going to be equal to II plus IF as I have mentioned here. So we can write that AF is equal to V0 because IS is equal to II plus IF. So I can replace here II plus IF. Now what is IF equal to? You can have a look IF is equal to beta times V0. So I am going to go on and replace IF with beta times V0. So this will be V0 by II plus beta times the V0. Now what is V0 equal to? V0 is equal to A into I. So let me replace the V0 by A into I. So I am going to replace into A into II divided by II plus beta times A into II. So let me take II common from here. So this will be A into II divided by II 
1 plus beta a. So this i i is going to be cancelled out with this thing and I am going to have a f is equal to a divided by 1 plus beta a. Here beta is the feedback factor, a is the gain without feedback and a f is the gain with feedback. So the gain with feedback in voltage shunt configuration has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus beta a. So feedback decreases the gain of this amplifier by a factor of 1 plus beta a. Now, okay, now let us find the input impedance with feedback of the voltage shunt configuration. Now we have drawn the equivalent circuit. Uh, in place of this amplifier, we have drawn the equivalent circuit of the amplifier, which is the input impedance, the output impedance and the gain. So now what we are going to have that gain without this input impedance without feedback is going to be equal to VI by II. And this input impedance with feedback is going to be equal to VI divided by IS. Now what is IS equal to? IS equal to II plus IF. So I can write Z input impedance with feedback is going to be equal to this will be II plus IF and IF will be equal to beta times the V naught. So I can write over here that ZIF is equal to VI divided by II plus beta times the V naught. Now what we are going to do is to divide the numerator and denominator by II. So we are going to have VI divided by II and II divided by II plus beta times V naught divided by II. So now this is going to be our input impedance without feedback and I, II divided by II will be 1 and this is our gain without feedback. So this will be beta times A. So the input impedance has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus beta I. So in voltage and feedback, the input impedance has been decreased by a factor of 1 plus beta I. Thank you.